Welcome to How to Solve. For today's video, I'm going to explain what is the difference between Google Photos and Google Drive. Google Photos and Google Drive are two different Google services that can be used to store and manage your digital files including photos. While they may seem similar at first glance, there are few key differences between the two. The Purpose Google Drive is primarily a cloud storage services for all types of files including documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and photos. While on the other hand, Google Photos is a specialized service designed specially for storing and managing your photos and videos. Storage Google Drive provides 15GB of free storage, which is shared across all Google services including Gmail and Google Documents, while Google Photos provides unlimited free storage for high-quality photos and videos up to 16 megapixels and 1080 resolution. If you want to store higher quality files, you will need to purchase additional storage on Google Drive. Organization Google Drives allow you to create folders and subfolders to organize your file, while Google Photos uses AI-powered tools to automatically categorize your photos and videos by date, location, people, and objects. The Features Google Photos offers a range of features specially designed for managing and editing photos and videos, including automatic backup, shared album, facial recognition, and advanced editing tools, while Google Drive focuses more on file sharing and collaboration features, such as document commenting and real-time co-authoring. So overall, while both services can be used to store and manage photos, Google Photos is a more specialized and feature-rich option that is specially designed for managing and sharing your photo library. Google Drive is more general-purpose cloud storage service that can be used for all types of files, including photos. So that's it. I hope you learned something about this quick explanation. See you on our next video. Please like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you in the next one.